number 207707, dated August 24, 2020. So, um, Antonio, Antonio Gino versus Abelo Tranquilo, oh, um, Abelo Gino, petitioner, versus Gabelo Abelo Tranquilo, and Trinidad Respondo. So, the facts. On September 24, 2008, Mo filed for the RPC Manila Branch 45 a complaint with regards to the recovery of possessions of parcel of blood covered by PCP or transfer of certificate title number 111439 against respondent. So, in his complaint, Mo alleged that he is the lawful and absolute owner of the subject property. On the other hand, the Bella, the Bella et al. together with their answer with a special affirmative defenses and compulsory counterclaim that claim that no has no personality to support. Personality to Moreover, the court did not declare him in GR number 111739 that, that he is not the absolute owner of the subject property, but merely as, an, merely as a person who could purchase a land in the PRC. So, ruling of the regional trial court. Um, after the pre trial, the RPC issued an order to then directing to the dismissal of the case due to lack of cause of action. Wherefore, previous where previous is considered the answer with special affirmative defenses and compulsory for its failure to comply with the requirements. So, um, the, the complaint is hereby dismissed due to lack of cause of action for plaintiff failure to comply with the barangay law requirements. So, these are the only three last cases. Uh, my case is uh, GR number 211966, uh, with Sisto of Agatnan, uh, petitioner uh, versus uh, spouses, Gabito, respondent, Fox. With Sisto of Agatnan, owns on that. Uh, by virtue of uh, absolute say since, 19, since 1967 at Togo, Barangay Togo, Roa City. Uh, on August 1, 1967, then on 1990, uh, respondent decided uh, to ask permission to the owner, which is now to build a uh, residential house at the said property. Since they are relatives, they will just now allow them to, to build a residential house in condition that they are going to surrender it uh, when, when it demands. So on 2016, uh, Abagatnan decided to sell a portion of his land and uh, they offered it to the uh, respondent but declined. So the petitioner uh, filed a case at the uh, MPC for, uh, for unlawful detainer and damages uh, at the uh, MPC. So according to the, petition, the petitioner, uh, Barangay Concentration proceedings is not required since the respondent is not a resident of the said barangay or the said uh, municipality. Uh, according to the uh, respondent, uh, barangay conservation is uh, needed. Uh, that is the mandatory requirements in finding a case in court. So, NPC uh, ruled in favor of the uh, petitioner and the uh, also the RPC. Uh, but the Court of Appeal uh, reversed the decision uh, stating that the uh, uh, Barangay Conciliation is needed before the uh, finding uh, the state in court. So, held uh, uh, issue whether or not the decision of the Court of Appeal is correct in a in uh, reversing the decision. According to the rule of the Supreme Court, uh, no, because the, the respondent is not actually residing at the uh, said barangay, 
and the said municipality. So there's no need for the uh, parang reconciliation. Uh, the, the case can be filed in court. If
of a law that the law for, that the law set must be one complete in itself to fix a standard or limitation. However, the section 68 of the revised administrative code does not meet this requirement requirement for a valid delegation. Hence, the executive orders issued by the president of the Philippines pursuant of section 68 of the revised administrative code are declared null and void ab initio and the respondent permanent restraint from passing in audit and expenditure of the of the public funds of the of the implementation in the set EOs and or disbursement of any municipalities is above the first. Year number 87196, Juan Calenos, the Pribaldo, versus Covenant, published on June 23, 1989. Facts. Petitioner Juan G. Pribaldo was proclaimed governor-elect of the province of Sorsogon and assumed office in a good time. The legal municipality, Sorsogon Chapter, filed with the Commission on Election a petition for the annulment of Rivaldo's election and proclamation on the ground. Having been naturalized in the United States on January 20, 1980, Rivaldo was admitted that he was seeking a American citizenship to protect himself against President Marcos and claiming that he was forced upon him and he returned to the Philippines after the Exa Revolution. Issue. Whether or not Juan G. Rivaldo was a citizen of the Philippines at the time of his election on January 18, 1988, as a provincial governor of the Sorsogon. Ruling. It has established and never denied it that the evidence of Rivaldo's naturalization and the evidence was was discovered on only eight months after his proclamation and his title was challenged for the term. Good evening, classmate to the teacher. My name is Madeline and my report is GR number 192-147, Rilando v. HRPE. Facts. Um, Lim Kai Chong ran as the representative of the first East Greek of Negros Oriental because of this. Her opponent, Paras, and the concerned citizen filed a disqualification case over Lim Kai Chong because um, she is not a natural born Philippine citizen. Um, when the time that she was born, her father is still a Chinese citizen and her mother lost her citizenship by marrying her father. During the pendency of the disqualification case, on the election day date and the vote were cast on the result Lim Kai Chong won over her, over her viral paras. On the following day, um, Komelet proclaimed the disqualification of Lim Kai Chong, but Komelet still proclaimed Lim Kai Chong as a winner of the said election under on the resolution number 8016. Lim Kai Chong assailed Paras petition that since she is proclaimed as a winner of the election, um, should be HREP has a jurisdiction over the matter of um, over the matter and not Comelec and Comelec agreed. Issue: Whether Lim Kai Chong has a is qualified to hold a position in the government. Ruling: Yes, Milan does seek um, disqualification over Lim Kai Chong under the ground of a Chinese citizen. Under all the Philippine law, citizenship only attack may be done through the citizenship ruling. Mama! Salamat! Salamat! Mama! 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 M